Hello everybody and welcome to Hollow Knight Steel Soul Mode. Um, if you don't know what Hollow Knight is, the best way I can put it is, um, if you took the Metroidvania aspects of, obviously, of Super Metroid, combined it with some of the platforming difficulty of Super Meat Boy, and, uh, threw in a little bit of Dark Souls pattern recognition combat, and made one beautiful bug-based game out of it. Um, what is Steel Soul mode, you may ask? Well, it's a mode, in the game, typically you can respawn after you die and, you know, um, continue. But in Steel Soul mode, you die once, and you're gone for good. And as you saw here, I have already 100% completed the game on one file so I figured why not give steel soul mode a try see if I can't be a little at least a little competent maybe make at least one or two episodes before failing miserably maybe display some of my raw game skill and game sense raw skill and game sense in wilds beyond they speak your name with reverence and regret for none could tame our savage souls yet you the challenge met under Palis Watch, you taught we changed, base instincts were redeemed. A world you gave to bug and beast as they had never dreamed. From Elegy for Hollow Nest, by Monomon the Teacher. I don't want to skip. I won't skip the cutscenes and whatnot, you know, just for people who have never seen Hollow Knight before, it's a very beautiful game to look at and to experience. So, if you haven't played the game and you might be interested in playing such a game, I highly suggest you pick it up on Steam. It's only 20 bucks. And, um, you know, give it a go for yourself before you watch, of course. But then, come right on back and, uh, you know, experience Steel Soul mode with me as I cry a thousand tears at trying to not die which will be very difficult I will tell you because I died a shit ton <laughs> when I play it oh jeez art style is very hand drawn and I think that's a beautiful way to represent a game not many games go for that look and I, I thoroughly enjoy it Here we go. Here we go. I, I said here we go. Here we go. Go. Yeah, there we are. I'm my little boy Hollow Knight. How's it going, buddy? Alright. So, here's what we've got. We've got our health bar up at the top left represented by those masks. We've got our little buddy Hollow Knight. He can jump around a bit, swing his little sword. Have some fun with it. Um, I don't know whether I will be going for 100% or I'll just be trying to beat the game because 100% is. Woohoo, boy! There are definitely some bosses that I will have to practice on like a different file before I'm um, trying to take them on, but we'll see how this, like, how I do in the. Beginning. Oh, excuse me. Just ate a hot pocket. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Your great strength marks you among us. Focus your soul and you shall achieve feats of which others can only dream. Collect soul by striking enemies. Once enough soul is collected, hold B to focus your soul and heal. So, up at the top left, you notice as I was hitting this enemy, I'll, I'll, do, I'll demonstrate, that little head fills up at the top. And, um, basically whenever we take a hit we'll lose a mask, but we can replenish it if we have enough of that soul. Um, when I get hit, I'll, you know, show it off, but for now, we're just gonna try and do our best to, um, you know, make our way through the beginning part of the game. Oop! Watch out for falling spikes. And, uh, I know I'm, like, throwing a little bit, a lot at you, kind of. I don't know, but the game throws it at you. Those little blue things that I were just killing and whatnot, they give you like a little s The best way I can explain it is like soul hearts in Isaac. Which is to say that they, um, 
they don't regenerate like the white health does, but um, they do protect you a little bit extra, you know, aside from, it's a little bit of extra guaranteed health aside from the, the regular health. So I'm just going around picking up that, that currency, sweet, sweet money. Here we go. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Beyond this point, you enter the land of king and creator. Step across the threshold and obey our laws. They are witness to the last and only civilization, the eternal kingdom, Hollow Nest. So once we break down this door, our journey into Hollow Nest begins. I apologize. I'll take this time to apologize for the lack of content as of late I've been sort of lacking in motivation as like the school year draws to a close I recently got a job and that's been taking up a lot of my time um, but in addition the channel's been growing rather slowly nothing has really happened in the recent past and not many people have been watching the videos so I sort of lo losing a little bit of motivation but you know maybe this will kick it back into gear hello sir oh, oh there up oh, I didn't read it I'll I'll talk to you again Hello. Nope, I missed it. So, we're never gonna know. Um, but what he says is, Welcome to Dirtmouth, the town that used to be lively, but uh, is no longer so lively. Uh, for all your mapping supplies, we will be opening soon. Is Zelda and Cornifer. Um, and that a bunch of people have gone down into this well here, but have never come out. So we're gonna take a dive into the well. I hear a dog. Yep, that's a dog barking. I'm gonna go investigate that BRB. Welcome to the Forgotten Crossroads. First area. I'm back, by the way. Hello. I have returned. Uh, we can choose to go right or left. I'd like to go left. First enemy. Hello! Die! Um, so the first area is pretty easy. It's almost like the tutorial area, even though we got like a tutorial area before. But this is introducing us to more enemy types. It's sort of like the style. You'll see it's very dark and gloomy all over. Um, but it's definitely giving off that, like, ancient city type of vibe. I'm just gonna go in here and talk to, or see an important character. This is Grubman! Hello, Grubman! I understand you're sad, I know. Grubman's sad. He's lost all his children. His 46 children that we have to find for 100% Christ. No chop chop master onion. I don't care that you're playing Team Fortress 2. I really gotta learn to go offline on Steam. Um. Before I start recording. Smack! 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 Come on. Come on. Come down here. I want this money. We haven't taken any damage yet, so I haven't been able to show off the little mechanic. I will at some point. You know what, I'll just do it right now. No fall damage, gracefully. Boom, take a little bit of damage. Hold B, focus. You can't move while you're um, focusing, so that's a little bit like of a, a strategic thing to do. You want to make sure you're, um, you're in a safe position before you start focusing. <laughs> hello, Mapman. Hmm, ah, uh, hello there. Come down to explore these beautiful old ruins? Don't mind me. I have a fondness for exploring myself. Getting lost and finding your way again is a pleasure like no other. We're exquisitely lucky, you and I. I am a cartographer by trade, and I'm working on mapping this area right now. Would you like to buy a copy of my work so far? I would indeed like to purchase a copy of your map, sir. So now that we have a map, we can, um... A map can be a useful thing, but it alone won't show you where you are if you're not... 
If you've not the head for directions, I suggest purchasing a compass from my wife, Zelda. She's just now opening our new map shop in Dirtmouth, selling all sorts of useful things to wanderers like yourself. She'll even sell some of my old maps from time to time. I pop back to see her whenever I finish mapping an area. She's always so excited to see me. So now that we have a map, we can take a look, see like our rooms and stuff. We see where Map Man is down the bottom left, and what looks to be some sort of dangerous creature to our right. So I'm gonna head up, head back up to Dirtmouth because there's a thing I want to buy real bad before I start mapping out this area, or like going through this area because your map at first it does not update on its own um, you just sort of get this like little area and you kind of see where you can go and there are no like we know there are rooms like see this some of the rooms have like doors like that are open but have nothing beyond them um, even if we were to go to those rooms the map wouldn't update see like I'm in a new room here but it's not updating so we have to go back up to town and purchase a quill to update our map. So I'm just gonna go up and do that. I'm I, like, I'm talking because I'm kind of full of like, I'm like, I'm extremely nervous because um, steel soul mode is kind of scaring the shit out of me. Um. But you know, we'll do I'll do the best I can and you'll you'll be along for the ride, hopefully. You know. Head up. Hup. Uh, the shop open? Yep. Hello, ma'am. <sighs> Come to buy a map, have you? It's really my husband you should be dealing with, but what a surprise he's headed down below. He'll pop back occasionally to deliver new maps for the store, but I do wish he'd spend a little more time up here. I have not much interest in retail myself. Now let's see what's here for me to sell. So I want the quill, and I want the compass as well, but I can wait on the compass. Um, I'm going to need a little more money before I can get that quill, so I'm going to head back down, just go grab some more dollar coins. Where are you at, boys? No, you're dead. One, two. I needed 120 coins for the quill, so I'll just farm this like little sort of tower structure. Let's see if I can't get enough from here. Mr. B-Man, I need your innards. Ah, shit! Okay. Even though I know there's no fall damage, I always still freak out if I'm falling from a high up place. I'm gonna let this little hedgehog come around. Boop. Everything's a bug, by the way, so if you're not if you're not too thrilled with bugs, I would um I would stop watching. But subscribe before you go, so you know. Shameless self promotion as its finest. I need you. Um, any hoosies. We have our 120 now. I'm gonna go get that quill. Hup. Uh, uh. Click, clack. Hey, up. Bow. Miss, I'd come to purchase your goods. Your wares. Could you sell them to me? <sighs> ah, Bapanada to you too. Thank you. So now that we have the quill, we can, um, I think if we go down here, it'll show us. Let's see. Uh, no, it didn't mark the map yet, but I will show you. So like, um, you see, the, like, the, the, um, the tower structure in the center, and, like, how there's no room to the left, but we have been in the room to the left. We know that Grubman is there crying. Um, but it isn't marked on our shit. Shit. Uh, it's, it isn't marked on our map. So, we will enter into Grubman Town, and 
mark it out on our map. I'm just gonna take this moment to heal up. Is not... Is not marking. I don't understand, but oh well. I have the quill. Yes? Inventory. I have the quill. Oh, yeah, yes, I forget. Yes, okay. So, there are these places in the game called benches, and it's just a bench. It's literally just a bench. And when you sit at one, your map updates. I forget. I forgot that very crucial fact. So, we're just gonna go around and see if we can find a bench. Pick up all this geo. Ah, there's a. See up at the top right there, that little cute little guy? That's a little grubby boy. Grubby boy is one of the um, grub man's kids, and if you rescue all of his kids, he gives you stuff. So, um. You can't reach him at this point. Close. I wonder if my sword can reach him. If I do the jump. Right. Ugh. No, not close enough. We'll come back to you, Grubman. I'm sorry to leave you there. Suffocating to death in that jar, but... You know, I really can't do anything. Sir, don't appreciate your jumping actions. I have to ask you to die. Hup, ha, hoop, hoo, ho. Hey, three hits for you, sir. What's happening, my friends? Yep, die on the spikes. Die, Mr. Mosquito. Don't appreciate you. No, no, no. hip -a hoo ha his hey ho hey Uh, yes. No? Yes. No. Yes. Yes. I have decided yes. Uh, I don't want to go down there yet. I want to go this way. Because there's a thing over here. Yes, hello, sir. Big old guy. Um, do you, uh... You mind if I stay here, sir? No? You good? He's not good! Hit! Ooh! So, we're just gonna take this guy out, or at least, hopefully, maybe this is where the run's gonna end. But, you know, I think I'm doing pretty well. See, there's a lot of pattern recognition you gotta recognize. Timings, how he swings, when he's gonna fall back on his ass. And we get Grubby Boy! You're welcome, Grubby Boy. Go home. Be free, Grubman. Ah, feels good to free a grub. Ah, uh, da 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 I think... I, I don't want to go that way. But just yet. I want to go maybe like down here. I think this is where... No, it's locked. Alright, so we gotta go back up. And we gotta go around. To access that bottom portion. Ow! Okay. No ceiling spikes. Don't like you. We're gonna head back around this way. Ha, hoo, ha, he, ha, he, da, ha, da, hoo. Huzzah. Slash. It's very satisfying to jump and move in Hollow Knight. The controls are very spot on, very tight controls. And that's something I can really get behind. Um, very much like um, Super Meat Boy in that sense. Um, in that Super Meat Boy had really extremely tight controls, and whenever you made a mistake, it was very much on you. Um, instead of like, you, you couldn't really blame the game's like controls or setup in Super Meat Boy, you could blame your lack of skill, of course. Um, and in this, it very much feels sort of the same because the controls are so tight, you feel like, um, you know, that was really just my bad, or whatever. I'm gonna head down here. Hello, anybody? Anybody? 
a bunch of Geo. Hello! Gimme! Gip! Whoa! Uh. Okay. And so you can sort of see that that wall was kind of like cracked, and as I hit it, um, if you hit certain walls that have cracks, they can eventually break. And that was a good way to teach the player about the breakable walls because there was such a, like a, a spot of geo here that you could barely miss the wall if you were swinging at the geo as you, as you do. All right, I gotta fight this squirt man. Come on, squirt man. You want gold, bitch? I'll take you on. Oh, two, you brought your friends, ha ha! Already one down. Can't fight me. Let's go! Come back here. Gotcha. Didn't think I was that good, did you? Nah. Nobody ever suspects that I'm decent at video games. I gotta turn my phone off. Hot spring! Take a break. Chill, my dudes. Bench! See? It says map updated. Now if we look at our map, we got a bunch of cool places that we've sort of explored. You see the ones that are like, have color we've, uh, you know, been to. Currently at the hot spring. With a bunch of rocks that look like my face in the background. I don't know if that's terrifying or flattering. But, what I'd like to do before I end this episode is go down this way, maybe head back up and around to fight. Oh, I wish I could get up there, I can't. But there's a boss I'd like to take on, the first boss of the game. Real dang soon. You can fight him really early. Um, and I don't know if you get anything out of that. I don't think you do, but I'm just gonna pick up as much Geo as I can along the way, because normally if you die, you lose all your Geo, and you have to go get it back. But since we can't die, you might as well pick it all up. And just be real, real cautious about it. Hello, sirs. I take you all on. Well, I am Hollow Knight. Hollow Noah, if you will. And I am the greatest warrior this world has ever seen. Have thwarted many mosquitoes such as yourselves in my time. And I would advise that you... Ow! I would advise that you stay clear of my blade. Am I too anime yet? Ow, goddammit! Alright. There we go. Uh... I do not need nor want to head up there. So we will just venture forth into the brave. I know what it is. It's not the, uh, quite the unknown. But uh, we're here. Hello. There's a bench in here. Sit and rest. Update our map. Take a look-see. And here we have... A toll machine with the symbol of a stag. Insert Geo? Yes. And to pay 50 Geo, we get the gates to open. And a nice little bell. And our friend the Stagman. Hello. Greetings, little one. It's been an age since I last heard the ringing of a station bell. It echoed down the stagways and called me to you. I've grown stiff and tired over these many years, and I've forgotten much, but the sound of the bell will always call me back. These stagways stretch the depths of Hollow Knight. Hollow Nest. If you want to travel them, hail me from the platform. I will take you where you need to go. So currently, so you can unlock places to like sort of fast travel. Um, but currently we only have Dirt Mouth and um, this station right here, and I don't want to leave quite just yet. Uh, I forgot to mention that also sitting on a bench will heal you fully if you have White Hearts. If you have like the blue health, it, those disappear when you sit at a bench. So if you've got blue health. Um, maybe, maybe it's your best bet to wait until you have lost them to sit at a bench, just so you can, like, make the most use of them. But here's a little grub boy. Hello, grub boy. I've saved you from your prison. Be free, my friend. I think this is the boss is this way. So we're gonna, um, oh, but first we gotta fight one of these guys. Hello. Ooh. Thought she could hit me, huh? 
Ugh, okay. His swings do two health of damage, so it's quite a bit, and I don't want to get on his bad side. Ooh, okay, that was close. Those shockwaves can also hurt you, so you want to be careful of those. Yep, and we took him down. Easy peasy, no big deal. You can see like there's sort of cracks right here, so I'm gonna break that open. See if we can't do a little dance, get a little geo, get down tonight. Um, probably don't want to go in Spike Town. How's it hanging, my friendo? Good now that you're dead. Ow. Okay, just ran into that guy. Don't do. Do as I say, not as I do. An important lesson from me. Okay, here we are, Mr. False Knight. Hello, nice to see you. Mr. False Knight can be a bit scary if you don't know his patterns or how he works, but fortunately for me, I have fought Mr. Foss False Knight before, and I know how he goes. Fight me, you scurvy dog! I'll take you on. So, here's what hap- Oh, the swing! Scary swing. Just heal up. And luckily for me, they gave me a way out if I sewed shoes. But I'm no little bitch! Fight me, fat men! Think you can take a swing to Hollow Noah? You thought wrong. For I... And the greatest knight! And you are truly the weakest. Oh, I can hit the rocks back at them? Okay, so I didn't even know that. Um, but that's cool. That's interesting. I didn't know that I could do that. But now I know. Take that! Ha, 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 ha! Ah, breaking the age-old adage, threes I see. Instead, you're gonna go for four. You wanna go for four for more? Mm, or not. You'll just, um, break the floor. Hello, sir. You okay? You seem a bit worn out. DIE, HEATHEN! You plague this land, and so your death was swift! I am sorry. Not really my brother, but I hate you anyway. It's a poor joke. As if I was saying I hated my brother. But I don't, I don't, nor do I have a brother really, so, you know. Take of that what you will. Excuse me? Is your, um, is your hammer walking away? Sir. No. Don't walk away from me. You, okay, you can leave. Geo! Lots of Geo. A little reward for beating your first boss. Hello. And can't quite get up there, so we'll just uh, head to the left. See what awaits us. I'm going to finish up this episode soon. It's getting about the 30-minute mark. So I will do this last little bit and then catch you guys on the flip side. I can't believe I said that like a nerd. Hello, Mr... Skull Hut. Ooh, a nice bench. Thank you. Update that map. Ancestral Mound. Oh, uh -huh. uh -huh. who's that creeping out of the darkness? My, you're looking grim, a strange empty face, and a wicked looking weapon. Something important has drawn you down into Hollow Nest's corpse, but I won't ask what. Perhaps the reason you found me is because you need my help. 
Say no more, friend. I'm going to give you a gift, a nasty little spell of my own creation. It's just perfect for a little one like you. Oh-ho! Why, thank you, sir. Ow. Consume the vengeful spirit. Tap B to unleash the spirit. Spells will deplete soul. Replenish soul by striking enemies. So, essentially what that tells us is that um, if you want to use one of your fancy spells, such as the soul or the vengeful spirit, um, it will deplete the soul that you have in the top left corner. So you have to be wary of that. You have to be mindful of whether you want to use your soul for using spells or for perhaps healing yourself later. Oh-ho! You've woken at last. I apologize. Perhaps I should have warned you about the power of that spell. I was watching over you as you slept, but you seem to have slipped away myself. ho 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 now we're awake, I was wondering whether you would do me a small favor. Not as repayment for my gift, of course, simply because we're now friends. You see, a horrid great beast has made its home in the heart of this temple. Such disrespect. I would be quite grateful if you were to venture deeper in and slay it for me. It's hardly a creature. It's a hardy creature, but with your new power, you're more than a match for it. Good luck with this small favor, my friend. Oh, ho, ho, ho. You know what? Fine, f loser. I don't, wanna... I don't deal with your extermination problem. Why you can't, can't you do it yourself? You can make the the friggin' spells, you can do it. I don't have to go and do your dirty work. No. Plus, I'm not even getting paid for it. <sighs> fine, fine. Oh, it's a little thing I had to break. I'll ignore him for now. Lots of... I, I don't know if I appreciate the way you decorate this place. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm all for freedom of expression, but I don't know if decorating your entire home and structuring it with skulls is necessarily the way to go. You know, you might lose a one or two um, visitors every now and then if you just decorate your entire house with the, you know, the bones of the dead. You know. But, you know, it's your choice. I won't, won't stop you. So where's this big bad monster, sir? I'm noticing that there don't seem to be any Big old battle monsters, just these small, tiny, weak little ones. Head to the left. These statues that like little glow when you get near them, you hit them, you get some free soul. It's always nice. No, sir. Some geo over there, I'm gonna go get. Oh, and a blue, blue cocoon. A little reward for making it all the way here. Smack! And we got two little spear hearts. Just in time for our fight with the boss man! So, the deal with this guy is, um, you can't get up close and hit him. So you gotta shoot him like so. But you run out of spirit before you um, can defeat him. So he spits out these little guys for you to hit so you can, you know, regain your, um, your spirit energy. And he goes down pretty easily. What do we have here? Collected a charm, Soul Catcher. Equip a charm to activate its powerful abilities. To equip a charm, open the charms menu while resting on a bench. Alrighty, ready oh then. Let me go. Oh ho, so it's done then. You've slain the beast. The poor thing, it must have been terrified of you. It used to be quite docile, but the rancid air in these caverns filled it with some ancient rage. Still, you did what had to be done. You had my gratitude. Of course, we both know you wouldn't have made it through without that spell of mine. Oh ho ho. Yeah, yeah, asshole. Let me out. And look, the gate between us is open. Oh ho ho. I'm sure you're eager to move on. Farewell and have faith. Whatever you are seeking, it will find you. Oh ho ho ho. Yeah, you loon. So, well, at a bench, you can go ahead and equip some charms. Soul Catcher, I will equip. Each one has like a little notch cost, um, and you only have a certain number of notches, so you have to be wary about what charms you have equipped. But uh, the one I have now is very good. Increase the amount of soul gained when striking an enemy with a nail. Um, so, it, it just means that uh, I get more energy per hit. Um, that'll be it for today. We did a lot in Steel Soul mode so far. Killed the first boss, equipped the charm, got a spell, and I'm enjoying it. Hopefully it lasts 
at least a little while longer. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like the content, please consider leaving a like or subscribing or leaving a comment down below telling me how I'm doing. And I'll see you later.